Welcome to the Yazima Health and Wellness Podcast. So tell us about some of your work in Africa um, and um, some of your uh, future goals. Yeah. Um, so I, I mentioned that my, my parents are from Liberia. And, um, and so uh, when I had an opportunity to go back to Liberia uh, as a pediatrics resident, um, I, I jumped at it. And mm-hmm. I, this is my first time uh, being back in Liberia. I'd had opportunities to work out, outside of the United States in medicine uh, before that, but this this was was really special. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I went back in the, in the first month. I went back. I mean, it was it was uh, shocking in so many ways. Mm-hmm. But but you know, as I reflected on that time, I thought I didn't see any kids with sickle cell disease. Mm. What I knew about sickle cell disease that was very very strange. Mm-hmm. So you know, on a on um an an epidemiology uh, basis on the population basis, mm-hmm. 75%, more than 75% mm-hmm. of infants who are born with sickle cell disease are born in Sub-Saharan Africa. Mm-hmm. There are about 400,000 children born with sickle cell disease uh, mm-hmm. across in the world every year. Okay, 400,000. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and some countries, I mean, for, for example, in the country of Nigeria, there are an estimated 150,000 children born with sickle cell disease each year. Oh, wow. Compare that with what we've talked about in the United States. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, so the scope of the, of the challenge is so much greater. Mm-hmm. And I just thought, how can I be here and not see children with sickle cell disease? Okay. And the, the answer was that um, the mortality there for children with sickle cell disease is so much higher. Mm. We've, we've again we've made some we've made quite a bit of progress but um in the in the 1970s there were studies that were done to try and look at sickle cell disease in sub-saharan africa and at that time it was estimated that um about 90 90 to 98 percent of children with sickle cell disease would die before they were five. Oh wow so i mean and 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 uh you know we've learned that it's largely because um, those children are not getting diagnosed at birth. Mm-hmm. They're dying from infections because that, since they're not getting diagnosed at birth, they're not getting put on um, antibiotics, mm-hmm. not getting uh, all the vaccines that they need to be getting as, as infants. Mm-hmm. Their parents don't have the knowledge to advocate for them properly when they do get sick with mm-hmm. complications. And so uh, the mortality is, is just incredibly high. Even today, in many countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, we um, uh, the the mortality for childhood mortality for sickle cell disease is on the order of fifty to eighty mm. percent. Um, so we have a lot of work to do. Um, you know, the the challenges are not insignific- insignificant. I think um, recently Nigeria made a national policy mm-hmm. that uh, advocates for newborn screening for sickle cell disease. And they're still in the early stages of implementation, such that um, I don't believe it's it's uh, it's happening for every child yet. But they're on their way. But but really, they're they um, are. That's the only country that I'm aware of where they've even gotten that far. So, in partnership with the American Society of Hematology, we're really trying to uh, use regional partnerships in different countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Mm -hmm. as well as um, what we call North-South partnerships with, you know, one of the the largest organizations for Mm -hmm. hematologists in the world, uh, Mm -hmm. partnering with hematologists in these countries in sub-Saharan Africa and with the ministries of health Mm -hmm. to really figure out how to deploy newborn screening so that we can give these kids a chance. Hi, Uzima family. If you like what you're seeing and what you're hearing, subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon below to be notified of our recent videos. What the doctor say?